Hi, my name's Rob and welcome to this tutorial for LabVIEW for LEGO Mindstorms NXT. We'll get started by opening up LabVIEW and we'll get to the splash screen and from here we're going to create program and go to virtual instruments and then blank virtual instrument. Uh, alternatively, you could do command N or control N to open up a new blank VI or virtual instrument. That will open up the front panel and the block diagram. We're going to be working in the block diagram today and we need to see the functions palette. Now it might have come up automatically, in my case it didn't, so I've right clicked somewhere on the screen. Uh, we can pin this functions palette onto the screen by clicking in this top left hand corner. And we can also change the display uh, by going to customize, view this palette as, and I, you can try different settings here, but I like icons and text. Um, also, the other thing I would recommend doing is maximizing your block diagram window. And now we're going to make a program to make our robot go forward for one second and then stop. So we'll use the NXT IO sub palette. We'll start by dragging out a motor block and you'll see that around the edges of the motor block there's a bunch of these different uh, connections coming from it uh, and we'll talk more about these in a moment but let's just drag out a weight block as well and you'll see if you bring this over close enough it automatically wires in uh, if I don't come close enough and I want to re-enable that automatic wiring, I can select this with my mouse and then press the space bar and that re-enables the auto wiring. And then I want another motor block. Afterwards I want this one set to brake. So we can choose motor off, brake and then I can download this program with this button up in the top left hand corner. You just need to make sure your robot is turned on and has the USB cable plugged in. Okay, and so there we saw the robot move forward for one second and then stop. So we can change some of these settings. So we could increase the power level. So for example, if I right click on here and choose create constant, I can change this, I can just type in over the top of that uh, to make that 100. Uh, let's say we want to make the robot not go forward for one second, which was the default. You can see in the, the help text there. Uh, so I can create a constant and change that to 0 0.5. And now we can download this program and see what it does. Okay, and there we see the robot goes forward for just half a second. If you want to get some more information about one of these blocks, uh, then it's useful to know about the context help menu. So help, show context help. So it's control H or command shift H on the Mac. And that brings up the context help window. And you can see here, we've got the information for motor on, it shows you what all the different uh, inputs and outputs do. And similarly for time, and the motor brake. So how about you have a play around now with sequence blocks and see if you can come up with your own movement. Uh, for example, could you make the robot move around in a figure eight?